Hello YouTube, YouTube family. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, Farmer Son Prepping here. Got some, uh, got a subject I'm going to talk to you about today. We'll uh, try to get on through it here pretty quickly. So my camera don't die uh, too early. This is take two, y'all. Uh, how can you prep without spending money? It's kind of the baseline of this one. And uh, this has probably not been, it's probably been done before, but I'm going to do this one. This is what the Lord laid on my heart this week. Uh, I'll take these Raycons out here. Oh, no. All right. Organize your pantry and check your dates. That's something you can do. Uh, check your rotation. Make sure you're utilizing FIFO first in, first out. You can do that. Don't cost you a dime. Assemble or update any emergency documents. You can do that. It takes a little time. You can do it. Inventory your preps. These are things. Uh, these are things you can do without spending money, but still be prepping. Uh, inventory your preps. Find out where your holes are. That way, next time you have money, you know exactly what to go and get. Okay. Uh, check your vehicle. Uh, check your fluid levels. Okay. Um, air, you know, check your tire pressure, uh, clean your vehicle, organize it, make sure it's good to go. Uh, that'll make life a little easier, uh, down the road. Uh, bone up on a skill or, uh, research a skill, learn something about new, or you can practice a skill, okay? Uh, you can say you want to go down there and, you know, you ain't fished in a while. I need to work on my fishing skill. That's one of my favorites. Uh, or you can practice start the fire with a ferro rod. There's, you know, there's a ton of different skills you can practice. Doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, can or dehydrate uh, any meat or vac seal, uh, anything that you need to vac seal. You know, that 40 pounds of rice you bought last you know two weeks ago whatever it was have you put that in the freezer you know rice needs to be in the freezer for a while kill all those bug eggs okay and then uh vac seal that stuff if you got meat you need to dehydrate do that all right uh call a family meeting uh work on your safety plan with your family okay if such and such happens we're going to meet here and bring this that or the other you know work on your family plan uh your family emergency plan that's what i'll call it you can print out any recipes or remedies or you can always just use a notepad write them down uh you can learn wild edibles y'all there's an app you can get on your phone uh don't ask me what it's called i don't forget i think it's snap this or something like that you can take pictures of plants outside. Just go outside, snap pictures. It'll tell you if it's a wild edible or if it's medicine, what it can be used for. That don't cost you a dime. Sharpen your tools. Uh, oil your tools. Don't let, you know, like your shovels get rusty or whatever. Of course, uh, knives. Have you a knife sharpening party. Get all your knives together. Make sure they all got a good, fine edge make sure they pass the old redneck sharpness test you know will it shave your arm all that stuff uh check your tools and oil them sharpen them whatever it needs sharpen your hatchet you know what i mean cleaning all your firearms that's standard uh you know make sure all your firearms are clean and old you know when you went uh, with your buddies to uh, Bass Pro Shops uh, three weeks ago, you bought those four P mags, those four extra P mags. Let's get them buggers out of the, out of the package and get some, get them loaded up. Load some mags if you need to. Organize your gun safe. If your gun sh uh, safe looks like crap, get in there and organize it. Okay. Uh, check your ammo cans. Check your ammo. Make sure your ammo's not rusting. Make sure you've got adequate. Uh, Oxygen absorb, uh, whatever they're called, oxygen inhibitors, whatever they're called. Uh, make sure your ammo's not rusting in there. Make sure it's the humidity and the, it's not getting to it. One of my favorites. Organize your bug out bag. Uh, 
you know, seasons change, your bug out bag needs to change with that. Uh, so organize your bug out bag. Um, Oh, this is a big one. This could be an all-day job right here around my house. Change out your water. Clean your water storage containers. That's a big job. Uh, you know, of course, you need to change out your water every... I think I do mine every six months. I have a reminder set on my phone so that I don't forget. Of course, I'm washing those containers out with bleach, whatever the containers are, uh, and then thoroughly rinse them out and put new water in. That's a job, I'm telling you. Check your fishing gear. Organize your tackle. A couple things you can do there. Uh, you know, I've got here check traps, redistribute any pest control. You know, uh, that might be more of a homeowner type deal, but I threw it in there. It won't cost you a dime. Uh, make sure your pest control, everything's uh, up snuff on that. Cut and split some firewood, y'all. Firewood is a big prep uh, in emergencies. If you've got your silky or a hatchet or an axe, whatever you got, uh, go out there and cut you some, find you some standing dead and cut you some trees down, stack you up some firewood. That's something you can do. Uh, crank your generator. Uh, make sure your generator is running right properly. Uh, charge your solar generator if you need to. That type of thing. You know, we all get to... We all get stuck in a hard place between paydays and you kind of get bored, you want to prep, but you're broke. So these are some, some, some ideas of things you can do. <coughs> anyway, I tried to run through those a little quicker on this time since it's take two and all. Uh, I've been thinking about my little end of the video spiel. By the way, 400 subscribers I checked a while ago. 400 subscribers. Thank you, Lord. And thank you all for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, but my end of the my little end of the video spiel, and everybody has one, I'm going to take mine from the Bible, y'all. Uh, I'm only going to use part of this, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and read the whole scripture so y'all know where it's coming from. This is in Romans chapter 12. King James, of course. Uh, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, and I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Uh, if he's thirsty, give him drink. Uh, for in so doing, you shall heap coals of fire upon his head. That means kill him with kindness, y'all. Uh, and verse 21, my favorite, uh, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. I believe I'm going to have that be, that last part there is going to be my little end of the video spiel. Uh, Romans 12, 21, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. This is Farmer Son Prepper. Check it out.